Hi, my name is Mike and in this series of Google Tips and Tricks I'd like to talk to you about the Site Search Operator. The Site Search Operator is a way of finding things on Google in specific places. Let me show you. I wrote this blog about an amazing bounce rate and when I was writing it I wanted to see what else there was on the internet about bounce rate. So, like anybody else, I would have gone to Google and searched bounce rate. Here I have a set of results. No disrespect to any of these guys whatsoever, but I'm really interested to see what search engine land have about bounce rate because I like the website. Now, what I could do is scroll through the list to see if there's anything from search engine land. I could go onto the second page. Anything here? No, not yet. I could go on and on and on, or I could be clever. What I could do is ask Google to show me results specifically from search engine land. And to do that, I use the site search operator. What I do is I go back into the search box and type site colon and then the web address of the place I'm looking for. In this case, search engine land dot com. And sure enough, what I get back from Google are pages with bounce rate in the title or mentioning bounce rate, all from search engine land. Search engine land dot com, search engine land dot com, and so on and so on and so on. Now What's very, very important to remember is the way I type in site colon searchengineland.com. There is no space between the colon and the start of the web address. Let's see what happens if I do do a space. So I have bounce rate site colon space searchengineland.com. And at first glance, it looks as if nothing's changed. I've got searchengineland.com, searchengineland.com, ah, searchenginejournal.com down here, developerresource.com, search engine guide. So what's happened is that Google has thought of this search as being made up of different keywords, bounce, rate, site colon, and searchengineland.com. Without the space, Google knows that I'm doing the site search operator and therefore to look for just searchengineland.com. Now this works for a specific web address, as we've seen, but the site search operator can be used for top level domains as well. For example, I've got a client who is a project manager for uh, building and renovation work, and that's his business. So I need to know what's happening with building regulations and things like that. So let's have a look at planning permission. When I search for planning permission, I get all sorts of websites, uh, planningportal.gov, .gov, uh, there's a planning permission direct gov, direct Wikipedia, energy saving trust, organization communities. All right, there's a lot of government sites, there's a few non-government sites. So Say for example I wanted to find just government sites about planning permission. I can use the site search operator for this. Planning permission, site, colon, but this time I could just type the top level domain, gov.uk. By doing this, all I've got now are results from gov.uk, 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 and so on. So the site search operator works very well for top level domains. Let's have a look at another example. If I want to buy a microphone, I type in microphone and I get right at the very top Wikipedia microphone. Amazon.co.uk, maplin.co.uk, I've got a .com down here, I've got a German site.de. Say I just want pages from the UK, site search operator again, microphone, space, site, colon, co, dot, UK. Let's actually put the colon in because that would help immensely. Now I've got pages, co, dot, UK, 
co.uk, 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 co.uk. All pages from co.uk. Of course, I could do the same for .coms. And this time, I just get pages with a .com top level domain. One final way that I use the site search operator is when I'm doing an SEO audit on a website. Let me show you what I mean. If I type site colon and the web address of the place I want to do an SEO audit for, um, hippos us.org, for example, I see that Google hasn't got any matches. Now what that means is that Google isn't indexing this website. Now from a SEO point of view, this, this highlights that there could be real serious problems with the website. Not always, but usually. Now in this instance, hippozeros.org doesn't exist, which is why Google doesn't have any pages indexed. So let's have a look at one that does. Let's have a look at our site, www.omnimedia.co.uk. And this time, we see that Google has returned quite a number of results, 28 in fact, which is great because I've got 28 pages on the website. This means that Google is indexing omnimedia.co.uk. All right, and that makes me very happy indeed. To summarize then, we can use the site search operator to look for information from specific web addresses or from top level domains. But the important thing to remember is do not put a space between the site, colon, and the start of the web address or top level domain. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for more Google tips and tricks.